In lesson 12, we're going to look at using both parallel and perpendicular lines. So what we've looked at in the last two lessons. So let's write an equation for a perpendicular line and a parallel line. So this starts on page 90 in your book. Remember for perpendicular, this is going to be opposite reciprocal slope. So you want to find the slope and use the opposite reciprocal slope. And for parallel, um, you're going to want to use the same slope. So go ahead, find the slope of N, and then write the equation of perpendicular through 0, 5, and parallel through 3, 1, and then come back to the video. All right, so let's find the slope of this line first. So the slope is going to be, um, so if I draw this little triangle here, so we've got a rise of two and a run of five. So two over five, and it's going down from left to right. So the slope here is negative two fifths. So when I write the equation of a line perpendicular, so let me get the point slope form written out here. So y minus the y coordinate equals the slope times x minus the x coordinate. So for a perpendicular line, we're going to use the opposite reciprocal. So this one is negative. So the perpendicular slope is going to be positive and the flip of that. So positive 5 halves. Then we'll plug in... Um, this ordered pair that we know, so y minus the y coordinate, um, and then x minus the x coordinate. Now with this one, since they gave us the y intercept, we could have written it in slope intercept form um, as well. Whoops. Instead of point slope form. Um, so we could have written in y equals mx plus b. So the slope being 5 halves and then the y-intercept being um, plus 5. So either one of those two is fine. And um, then when we go ahead and graph it, we'll go to the point 0, 5. So 0, 5, so 5 on the y-axis. And then we want a positive 5 half slope. Okay, well, I'm going to go off the grid. So I'm going to go down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and back 2. One, two, three, four, five, back two, and then I'll be able to connect those. And we've got a perpendicular line to N. Then the next one is write an equation of a line parallel to N that passes through the point three, one. So y minus the y coordinate equals the slope times x minus the x coordinate. Now for this one, a parallel line, we'll use the exact same slope. So we're going parallel to n. Okay, so the slope of n is negative 2 fifths. So this one will have a negative 2 fifths slope as well. Um, so we'll do y minus the y coordinate, which is 1. And then x minus the x coordinate, which is 3. And um, then to graph this, we can just plot this point, 3, 1. So the point um, positive 3, 1, and then do a negative 2 fifths slope from there. So down to over 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or up to backwards 5. And then we can connect that with a line, and then that one should be um, parallel to N. So parallel lines um, having the same slope as each other and perpendicular lines having opposite reciprocal slopes from each other. All right, then there's an info gap in this one, so you'll have to do that in class. Um, but mainly, you're just trying to come up with lines here. So if you're trying to plot, if, you're tr if we're trying to graph here, and we could ask about doing lines parallel to this line, 
um, or perpendicular to the line, which would help us with slopes. So if you're trying to write equations of lines, if you're looking at parallel or perpendicular lines, you would want to know that or the slope or a point that it goes through. So this ended up being the um, info gap that you got. So we would have ended up with a, needing to know the point is negative three zero and this orange one is perpendicular to R. So opposite reciprocal slope there. And then this purple one went through the point three negative one and was parallel to L. So if you know um, all you need to write a line, the equation of a line or to graph it is you need to know a point that it goes through and you need to know a slope. So those are kind of the two important things you need to know in order to graph a line or write the equation of it. So on page 92, let's take a look at this. So this says line L is represented by the equation two thirds X plus three, write an equation of a line perpendicular to it passing through this point. So again, when you do this, okay, so perpendicular means opposite reciprocal slope. So locate the slope in the equation, so in front of the x. So a perpendicular slope to this is going to be the opposite. So this is positive. So the uh, perpendicular slope is going to be negative and then flip this fraction over. So 3 over 2 instead of 2 over 3. And then we can put it into point slope form. So y minus the y coordinate equals the slope times x minus the x coordinate. So again, we're doing the perpendicular line. So we're going to be using negative 3 halves. The y coordinate of the point that it's going through is 4. So y minus 4. And the x coordinate of the point it's going through is negative 6. Um, then we want to write an equation perpendicular to this line. Okay, so perpendicular to line P. So here's line P. So we're going perpendicular to line P. So P's slope. Okay, so the slope of P is negative 3 halves. So we want a perpendicular slope to that. So opposite of a negative is a positive. And then we'll flip that. So we'll be at 2 thirds. So this is the slope that we're using to be perpendicular to P. And then we want to go through the point 3, negative 2. So y minus the y coordinate equals the slope times x minus the x coordinate. So if we're going to be perpendicular to P, we need to use a slope of two thirds. And then we want to go through the point three, negative two. So y minus the y coordinate of negative two and x minus the x coordinate of three. So what do we notice about lines L, okay, so here's L and N, this one. So what do we notice about those two? So what you hopefully see is that this, this line L, okay, so the first line that we had had a slope of two-thirds, okay, and then this third line that we have has a slope of two-thirds, so they end up being parallel to each other. Okay, so do you think this is always going to happen? and explain your answer. So L and N are parallel um, because they have the same slope. This will always happen when two lines are perpendicular to the same line. So these two lines are both perpendicular to P. So if we were to like look at a graph of this, if I were just to kind of sketch this, so our first line, um, L, was a slope of up 2 over 3, so 2 thirds. Then we did a perpendicular line to it at negative 3 halves. Then we did another um, line at 2 thirds. So these two are perpendicular and these two are perpendicular. And that means that the orange and the purple are going to be parallel all the time. All right, so you can just think about this, but think about as many methods as possible to create new lines that are either parallel or perpendicular to L.
So how could you come up with parallel or perpendicular lines to L? How can you use algebra? How could you use transformations? Could you do a compass and a straight edge? So today we, for the last couple of days, we've been talking about slopes, right? So you could use slopes to come up with it. So parallel lines, finding the slope of L, doing any line that has the same slope. Perpendicular, doing opposite reciprocal slopes. Transformations for parallel lines. Okay, so if we wanted parallel, we could do translations. Would get us parallel lines. Um, if we wanted perpendicular, we could do 90 degree rotations, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Um, you could do reflections. Okay, so if you reflected it over, you know, it's if you reflected it over a, the perpendicular bisector, it would land on itself. Okay, so that would be the same line, maybe not parallel. Okay, you could reflect it over another parallel line. Like if we drew a parallel line and then reflected this over that, you would create a new parallel line. Okay, so you could get some reflections in there. Um, compass and a straight edge, you could start doing construction. So you could actually construct a perpendicular bisector or you could construct parallel lines. Okay, getting back to unit one. So a ton, a ton of different ways to end up with parallel and perpendicular lines. All right, then lesson 12 summary. So we can use concepts of parallel and perpendicular lines to write equations of lines like we did. Um, so if we took N and the image of L when it's rotated 90 degrees using negative 1, 5 as the center, what's the equation? So remember, if negative 1, 5 is the center, that stays on the line. Okay, and then a 90 degree rotation would mean they're perpendicular, so their slopes are going to be opposite reciprocals. So the slope um, of this line is negative 3. So then the opposite reciprocal slope is going to be one third. So we would plug that in and plug the point that we know is on the line. So the given slope um, was negative three. The perpendicular slope then would be positive one third. And we knew the center of rotation negative one five was on the line. So then we would just plug all of that into point slope form. All right, so here's the lesson cool down. Go ahead and give it a try. If you are confused or struggling, be sure that you reach out to your teacher.